Hey, what is up everybody? Magical Memories Travel and we are back. This is day number two of our epic Tennessee road trip. We are headed up to Tennessee now, so we will be in Tennessee today in this video. But first, we are gonna be going to Bucky's and not just any Bucky's. We're gonna be Bucky, we're gonna be going to Bucky's during breakfast. Yes, so not lunch. So you won't get to see no brisket sandwiches nope. and stuff like that. You'll get to see brisket tacos. So it's going to be a completely new round of food what's, at Bucky's that we're going to see. What's their little breakfast thing that I get? It's called like a hippo something? It's a hippo taco. Hippo taco. That's my favorite. So we're going to see all the amazing stuff at Bucky's. This is a different Bucky's. It's not the one that we visited in the first video. Yeah. This is after Atlanta. So there's a Bucky's before Atlanta and a Bucky's after Atlanta on our way to Tennessee. It's really cool. You get two uh, Bucky's twice on this road trip and then twice on the way back. So four times out of Bucky's on this road yep. trip. I think that's really epic. So we will update you guys when we're on the road and we're getting to Bucky's and when we get to Bucky's. All right, guys. See you later. Bucky's is going to be exit number 310 to Union Grove Road. And here it is. This is gonna be the one in Calhoun, Georgia. So this is gonna be the Calhoun Bucky's location, located off of exit 310 to Union Grove Road on I-75. All right, we just pulled in. We just filled up. Guess is 409 here like it was at the other Bucky's. Uh, we already said hi to the little uh, Bucky out front like you always have to do. We're gonna do a quick run in here so we can just grab breakfast and uh, see if there's any different merchandise than there was yeah, at the other Bucky's. I know, let's hope they have bean dip. Let's figure it out. Know, things are a tad different. They're a little different of a setup, but still their 4th of July stuff is here. Uh, let's check for the bean dip first. So here is the one for the Calhoun, Georgia location Bucky's, but these other two are still the same. One thing I didn't show in the video is the Bucky's truck that they have with the giant Bucky in the back. Usually that Bucky's in the front seat. Now let's take a look at their breakfast selection. They just put up some fresh brisket in the middle. They have bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits, sausage, potato cheese taco, bacon, egg, and cheese croissants, ham and cheese, beaver tots, Brisket egg tacos, brisket tacos, beaver chips again. And here's the hippo taco that we were talking about. We have a beast burrito and just the selection just goes on. So the prices for all of your breakfast items are gonna run you anywhere from $3 upwards of $6. So I guess Bucky's no longer sells bean dip as of right now, Bucky's is completely out of their bean dip, which is kind of upsetting. This is uh, some of the Bucky's brand chips. These buckos are exactly like Funyuns. And then uh, these are like barbecue Funyuns. So one thing that Bucky's is very known for is their world famous cleanest restrooms out of any gas station you're ever gonna find. And that is 100% true. They have the cleanest gas station, I mean the cleanest bathrooms ever. So they are over here making fresh burritos and just look at the amount of meat that they put inside of these burritos. Like they are not skimping out when you come here to Bucky's. <laughs> At every Bucky's, they also have a bakery. And these are some of the bakery items that they make fresh in house every single day. You can see some of the prices and you can pause the video, but these bakery items are actually really nice. I haven't tried anything from the bakery yet, but here is um, another part of the bakery. They have some cookies down there and stuff. But over here, this jerky um, wall is actually longer than the jerky wall in the other Bucky's. I think this one's the 20 foot one. But every um, Bucky's does have their own jerky station, just right here in the middle of their store. And you can even try some of the sausage. That I did not know until I just saw those little sausage cups. Okay, so yes, we got iced <laughs> coffee. That's the first thing. I tried to make mine pretty. Came out all right. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> kind of melted. <laughs> yeah, your whipped cream already melted off the top of yours. But um, yeah, you can it, make any flavor coffee, whatever you flip and want at Bucky's. It's just so fantastic. Many different creams and whipped cream and sprinkles and syrups and. Now we're on to the best stuff. First off, beaver tots. Now, no, it's not beaver and tots. This is it's made of pure beaver. Uh. Just tater tots, but beaver tots. It's really fun. These beaver tots are going to run you $1.98. And beaver tots are just regular tater tot. But better. 
and they're great. But who doesn't love a potato in any form, right? Potato, vegetable oil, beaver. <laughs> <laughs> beaver. So. No, these are better than your average tater tot, I'll tell you that. They really are. Now, the next thing. That mm, is, is so good. the mecca of all meccas for breakfast items. Well, I have mine and mine. You have yours and yours. Is the hippo taco, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the hippo taco. I, I'm sure you saw the ingredients of the hippo taco that was on the uh, video, but it's bacon, uh, egg, cheese. Is it bacon? Yes, it's bacon, egg, Dang. cheese, green sauce, uh, potatoes, and beans. Yes, and this is a big flipping hippo taco for $3.99. No, it does not have hippo. And that's what somebody actually uh, asked me when I said I had the hippo taco from Bucky's one time. They were like, wait, that, that doesn't have actual hippo in it, does it? And I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. You can also get a side of the green sauce that they have. So you get a little cup of the green sauce to pour in your burrito when you are eating it. And they have the rhino taco. If you're not a fan of uh, bacon, you can get it with sausage, and that's the rhino taco. So Natalie has her hippo taco. John and I are going to have a debate because I don't believe there's bacon in here. <laughs> there is bacon. There yeah. is definitely bacon. And uh, $3.99, again, hippo taco. And then we also got a brisket and egg taco. And that's going to run you $3.99 as well. And it's just simple brisket and egg. I don't believe it has cheese in it, right? I got the one with cheese. Okay, so does There's have cheese. There's a plain brisket taco that's just brisket and one with cheese. The one with cheese is $3.99, I believe. The one without it and it's only brisket, that's a dollar more. All right, so let's crack into this hippo taco. I am not going to take and um, just mutilate the, the taco for your enjoyment, but what I will do is I will open this guy up so you could see just right there how much is actually in this taco. And there it is. I am right, the first sight <laughs> of a piece of bacon in a hippo taco. That's not bacon. That is bacon. <laughs> no, you know what that is, Natalie? Hippo. hippo. It's hippo, oh my God. It's hippo meat. <laughs> it's, no, Bucky's does not have hippo meat, please. They don't sell weird animals like that. No, they like, don't. You, you can't eat that here. Please don't be going around telling people that. That's <laughs> not what we do. It's not a thing. All right, so here's some of the green sauce that they have right on top of your hippo taco. She already took a bite, but... <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> mm. 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 It's amazing. The green sauce sort of gives it like a a Five. Mexican style like flair um with the beans in here and oh, big hand it's 3D guys you didn't even know <laughs> I didn't even notice it. it's a little spicy mm -hmm. the sauce but it's really good everything about Bucky's not only like lunch dinner breakfast anything it's amazing She's dying over here because of how spicy the uh, green sauce is. The green sauce does have a tad bit of a spice much. to it, I do have to say. I can't handle super spicy. No. That's hot. See, I'm a Cajun boy. I'm from Louisiana. I can handle all kinds of spice. <laughs> Try me. That's Speaking like of that, we actually had an assortment of um, hot sauces that we bought from, where'd you get it? Mm. It was from like Home Goods or something. Mm. But she had a selection of like 12. 12 hot sauces. The Louisiana hot sauce said it was a one pepper <laughs> out of four. It was more like a nine pepper. To it's her, it was a nine. But it was very spicy. I don't think it was a one pepper. I think they kind of lied on that one. I think they're wrong because the one with two and three peppers weren't yeah, as we're, hot. Yeah, we're not as hot. So I'm wondering if the labeling was backwards, but that's whatever the case may be. Is whatever the case. Currently, the time is 9.51. Right now, it should take us about three hours, not even two and a half hours to get to uh, our hotel. So we are gonna update you when we are on the road and we are almost to Tennessee which means the Tennessee Welcome Center and the Tennessee Welcome Sign when we are driving past it. So, we'll see you guys then. 
and look at how beautiful these mountains are in Tennessee or not Tennessee Georgia we have not even crossed over to Tennessee yet and you can already see some amazing mountains so there isn't a leaving Georgia sign like there was for Florida but there is the welcome to Tennessee sign and we are about to cross into Tennessee in three two one now and we are in Tennessee now our next stop is going to be the Tennessee Welcome Center which is going to be in the next half mile so we'll see you guys when we get there so we are now at the Welcome Center for Tennessee uh, we were here six months ago because we did do a Tennessee trip six months ago almost exactly to the date um, we went to Dollywood, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and did everything. So we decided to buy Dollywood annual passes and uh, like do it all again. So we're gonna go check out inside of the Welcome Center for you guys, uh, and then check all the way around. They have like a little historic like um, cabin that was originally built, and then they made the extension onto it. So uh, yeah, come on inside. Last time we were here, they had the nicest lady working at the front. Um, I'm not sure if we'd remember who she was, but um, in here it's really, really pretty and nice. They usually, um, when it was cold, they had a fireplace running, um, but it's just really homey in here. And they have like little displays and stuff you can see. Everything about the history of Tennessee and the Tennessee Civil War. A bunch of Dollywood stuff here. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The Gatlinburg Aquarium. This looks familiar. Yes, Ripley's Haunted Adventure. We did that six months ago. Uh, but yeah, all the stuff that you would need, they even have coupon books. And these coupon books are the best things to get because, uh, let's see if I can find one of these coupon books here. Um, we have a ton in the car right now, but, um, like, see? These stuff right here, like the Navigator coupon book, they have a bunch of coupons for all of the roadside attractions that you would see um, in and around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, and they are very, very helpful. It is a really beautiful day out today. Uh, last time we were here, it was freezing! They even have music notes right here on the sidewalk. I don't know specifically what the song is. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. And um, maybe once by the time this video is edited, I'll put up like right under here what the, this means. But um, I'll take a look. They have like more like a little historic cabins right over here. And um, I do believe this was like from the old foundation of like the cabins and stuff like that. And um, they just put it into like a little art display. This is really interesting. So the sign is a new like overlay. It was here last time we were here, but underneath you can actually see the old fluorescent sign that says, welcome to Tennessee. All right, so now that we've taken our selfie in front of the sign, it is time to get back in the car. We might head to the bathroom if you need to use the restroom any. Um, I think I might uh, head there, check the vending machines. I'll go show you guys that just in case you are ever in this area at this, um, particular stop i do recommend on any road trip always go check out the welcome centers because the welcome centers have like these little hidden gem things that you never know and it's really cool to see you know these just these little things that they have the vending machines vending. yes it's just this tiny little building that says vending yeah. um we did not go into this vending building last time we were here so this will be the first time for us um we checking that out yeah, we were just running in and out. It was freezing cold. Um, I think by the time we got here, the temperature was like, what? Oh, look at that. There's a one-seventh of a mile walking trail. And it says, walk away from tobacco. Oh, well, look at that. That's I'm awesome. Walk on the trail. All right. So here inside of the vending place, You've got your typical vending machines right inside here. And my favorite ones are always the coffee vending machines that they have. But sometimes they have like ice cream vending machines. I've never seen postcards and moon pies in a vending machine before. That's very interesting. If you want a postcard, come to the vending machine. 
This is very helpful. Tylenol and Advil for anybody that would need it on the road. The they have it here. Ring pops are very helpful. <laughs> ring pops are very helpful, huh? Uh, let's see. Yeah, just some other snacks and uh, your coffee. All right, so we are done our little rest stop. Done the um, entirety of this little uh, Welcome Center for Tennessee. I like the Tennessee Welcome Center over the little Georgia Welcome Center, but the Welcome Centers are, are different on the way back, so we will definitely see those. Um, the Florida Welcome Center's got some Disney World stuff in it, so we'll see that on the way back. But I did like in the Georgia Welcome Center the little uh, roller coaster car that they had in here. That's something that they don't have uh, inside the Tennessee Welcome Center. It's more historic, and that's something that I do like. So we're gonna hit the road, and we will update you guys when we get closer uh, to Pigeon Forge. All right, we are getting closer and closer to Seaverville, which is uh, actually Dolly Parton's hometown. We're actually going to be staying in Seaverville because that is closer to Pigeon Forge and that is closer to um, Gatlinburg. So that is the best place to stay uh, around Seaverville and Pigeon Forge. But if you look over to your right hand side behind the trees, you can start seeing the Smoky Mountains. So the pronunciation is actually Sevierville. Um, not Severville or Severville, it's Severville. And it's really funny what exit number it is. It's exit 407, like the area code in Orlando, Florida. And here is our exit, 407, into Severville. Here off to your right hand side, uh, entering, you can see the Great Smoky Mountains sign. And they're actually going to be coming up in the skyline soon, but um, right here you're going to start seeing some of the roadside attractions that you can actually visit um, here in Sevierville. And soon there's going to be a Bucky's location right here in town. There's going to be three Bucky's locations that's going to be on a drive from Florida through Georgia to Tennessee um, in Pigeon Forge. It's actually really cool to think that soon in 2023. We'll have three different Bucky's to visit and three Bucky's on the way back. Isn't that insane? And there's that beautiful skyline I was talking to you guys about. That is the Great Smoky Mountains. And from our hotel that we're going to be staying at, you guys are going to see an amazing view of the Smoky Mountains. You can start seeing some of your signs for the roadside attractions that you can visit. There's actually Old Smoky Moonshine Distilleries here. There's a place called The Island in Pigeon Forge. It has, it has its own distillery. Old Smoky Moonshine has a distillery as well as uh, in Gatlinburg. So they have two distilleries that we're going to be seeing this trip. They have really fun road signs for all of their roadside attractions here. Like that was a uh, Ripley's Aquarium where they had a 3D shark and octopus. There's a really cool helicopter on the left hand side of the road. That's for the Fly Scenic for Pigeon Forge in Sevierville. Here is one distillery that uh, they do have. It is the Tennessee Shine Company. We have not visited that distillery, but we will definitely try and make an attempt on this trip. They advertise a lot for their moonshine distilleries. They really, really love their moonshine here, and so do I. Look at that water park. I know. Uh, I do not know what the name of that water park is. No, Silky Mountain. There it is. Huh. The Silky Mountain Water Park. Which I think that's really fun. We have actually been to this distillery. This is the Tennessee Legend Distillery. This We're was our last stop it on our was. last trip that it we took. It was. It was. We will definitely be making a stop there. It won't be our last stop. Look at every sign. <laughs> Moonshine, moonshine, moonshine. And then here's three Dollywood signs right here. These, these just the, switched over. Yeah, these are the revolving signs. So if you come to Tennessee, you gotta go to Dollywood and drink some moonshine. Oh yes. <laughs> look at look at the beautiful mountain views. And we have a little Tennessee trading post here on the side of the road. We've made it to North Carolina. <laughs> no, we have <laughs> finally made it to our hotel in Tennessee. Yes, we are going to be checking into the Sunrise Ridge Resort by Diamond Resorts here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Not Sevierville. Uh, I don't know why I said Sevierville, but either. Pigeon Forge, <laughs> Tennessee. We actually stayed at this hotel six months ago uh, when we came to Dollywood originally. When it was and freezing. yes, and so we so absolutely different. loved it. It's it is very different. Um, leaves are different. Everything's different. Yeah, the the leaves were. Um, they were all gold and red and beautiful colors, but it's yeah. still very, very beautiful trees here in Tennessee. So we're going to go check into our hotel room. 
and then uh, we'll give you guys a tour. So we just checked in and let me just say, the people at the front desk are some of the nicest people you're gonna ever experience. This hotel does have a little information desk for the roadside attractions. So they do have coupons and stuff like that if you did not get them at any of your rest areas or the Tennessee Welcome Center. So we're gonna head over to our hotel room. We're gonna get all of our bags up and we're gonna give you guys a room tour. So let's invite you guys inside of our deluxe room here at Sunrise Ridge Resort. Let's go. We're gonna show you guys the bedroom first because this is really cool. Here's the bathroom. As soon as you walk into the door here, you are greeted with the bathroom door right here. Here's your little entry hallway and foyer. Uh, if you guys connected with somebody else and have a connecting room, it's right here. Um, right in the bathroom, you've got your toilet to the right hand side, your towels and stuff like that. You've got a jacuzzi tub in here. Look at the size of this tub. I mean, this tub is a nice sized tub. It's also a shower as well. You can actually take the shower head off and shower yourself. Hi there, uh, me inside of the mirror. Over here, you have your washer and dryer. Yes, a washer and dryer is included with this place. It's really cool. Um, here you have your sink and all of your toiletries. They even have a makeup remover wipe for the ladies or men. We have your shampoo, conditioner, your body lotion, body bar. We have your skincare bar. Uh, under here, we have more towels and more uh, toiletry items. I do believe that there is a, yes, there is a hair dryer with two little attachments there. And here is your bedroom. Uh, I think this is a queen size bed, um, maybe. Looks a little bit bigger than my bed at home and I know that's a queen, so this may be a king, who knows. Uh, but this is a little bit different than the room setup we had. This is your nice little, um, your nice little uh, hallway closet. Wow, I can't speak. You get a little TV, another little mirror right over there. You get all of your dresser drawers. Inside there you have hangers and extra quilts and blankets. You have a nice little chair just to sit on. Over here is going to be your storage closet. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Um, and it includes a Natalie, that's really fun. Uh, and she's holding an iron and a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> This is just your air condition, it doesn't open. Um, and here is your living room. Just look at this. You guys, you have a Wi-Fi router inside of your room. So you've got Wi-Fi directly in your room. You've got your um, kitchen table, got your nice flat screen TV. This has a fireplace, our other room did not. So it's not cold enough to use the fireplace, sadly, but if it does get cold on those nights where it does get 50 degrees while we will be here, we may or may not open this up and use that fireplace. Here is your living room area and your kitchenette. They give you a full size, um, uh, wow. I was gonna say washer and dryer, but this is a refrigerator and a freezer. This is a bigger oven than we had last time too. Yeah, it this had is, a little mini one. Yeah, it had a mini <laughs> oven. It was awesome. They've got a full size dishwasher, a bigger oven here in this room. You've got a uh, nice big microwave. You've got a coffee maker. Right over here, nice stainless steel coffee maker. You've got some coffee. You've got everything you could need, some baking supplies. They even supply you with cups, plates, bowls, a strainer. Oh, this is also a sofa bed, that's cool. You've got cutlery, um, bottle openers, corkscrews, everything that you could need. They also include a little palm olive, jet dry, uh, scrubbers, extra paper towels, anything that you could need to stay at a hotel. Cups, just is, this is an amazing place. But wait until you see the view. <laughs> Look at you, selfie Sunday. Let's take you guys out right on our balcony to see this fantastic, like, can I get it open? Oh gosh. You get that open. You don't need to see the view. You can just look at this picture on the wall of the mountain. Oh my gosh. Cause it's Come not on. like you take a few steps this way. Look at this beautiful view. I think I just stepped through a spider web. That's, uh, that's funny, I didn't freak out that much. But uh, hey, look at this amazing view of the Smoky Mountains. We actually had a room, two rooms over. Yeah. And uh, this view is practically the exact same. You are it's not awesome. missing anything. We are right here like on the end. We only have, I think, one more room right over there. But just look at this view. I mean, you couldn't get any better than this. You can see here. a little bit more Yeah, you than can. two doors down this, you can see more mountain it's Look at beautiful that. being here in pigeon forge there's and a pool aren't those like the little like cabin things yeah those are there? little townhouses right down there you can rent townhouses and these townhouses do have mountain views but i like being up high in the room you can see just a little bit more 
and uh, this is door. your <laughs> yes, yeah, the secret door to the air conditioned unit, but um, that's gonna be outside. But yeah, just look at this gorgeous view, and you can sit on here every morning, every night, sip on a drink, sipping on some apple pie moonshine, and just taking a look at the view. We do see some clouds rolling in, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be any rain. So we are gonna get dressed, we are gonna head to lunch, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in uh, our next little adventure, what we're gonna be doing in just a minute. We're just gonna unpack all of our stuff real quick and uh, get changed like I said out there. But um, if you guys do wanna stay here at the Sunrise Ridge Resort, I highly recommend it, right now? Yeah. Sunrise Ridge Resort is a very beautiful resort. Um, the first time we stayed here, we had a fantastic time. That's why we decided to come on back and stay. But uh, seeing the booking a different room, there's the standard suite and then there's the deluxe room. This is the deluxe room and the deluxe room is bigger. Uh, it's got bigger amenities than the standard suite. So we did figure that out. So it answers uh, much of our questions that we did have when we were booking this room. So if you guys are looking between the two rooms, both are really good. The deluxe room does have bigger amenities. So if you guys are looking for uh, bigger countertop space and uh, a bigger um, oven and stuff like that and microwave, definitely book the deluxe room. But if you guys don't care about that stuff, then uh, yeah, just book the standard suite and it's the, basically the exact same thing. Oh, and if you want a fireplace, that's included in the deluxe room. So if you guys are staying during Christmas time, deluxe room's the way to go. And now it's time for dinner at a very, very special place, the Old Mill Restaurant. The Old Mill Restaurant has a great breakfast, but we've never experienced their dinner. We're actually gonna experience their breakfast tomorrow. So right now, it's dinner time. So you do have to check in all the way up this giant ramp here. And the Old Mill is actually a uh, grist mill where they grind um, like grains and stuff like that. And they actually make biscuits in house. They have a little general store. So we did check in, it ended up being a 45 minute long wait, but that is okay. <laughs> so they are calling people right now. So 30, 45 minute wait. We're gonna go shopping in the Old Mill General Store and uh, the distillery and some of the other shops behind me. So this is actually really funny, right outside of the Old Mill, these two photos here were actually stolen by somebody years ago when they were foolish, uh, young and foolish they say. Um, pause to read this, but uh, they actually returned it when they were an adult. And then they frame this and the note. Outside, I guess they have some of their overflow from uh, their Christmas merchandise. Like some old mill sweatshirt. So these old mill sweatshirts are gonna run you $39.99. So here inside of the old mill general store, it's just a collection of um, a bunch of different awesome merchandise. They have a t-shirt wall over here in the right hand corner that has really awesome old mill t-shirts I found something else she already found an old mill t-shirt and a sweater and we're not even in here five minutes but it is really awesome merchandise uh, these t-shirts are gonna run you $27 I think all of them are about the same 24 so they're gonna be um, very very uh, price rangey I'm just checking different ones for you guys 24 as well um, they have pocket knives with names on it they have old Yes. Make sure you look really closely at the shirt because one time it literally said S for small, but I opened it up and it was actually an extra large. So you have to double check because the factory makes them wrong sometimes. All right. So let's check some other merchandise here in the store. Back over here, they have a collection of Old Mill soaps and all of this stuff is made in house at the Old Mill. We have all of their flowers and um, like fish and seafood breading, catfish breading, popcorn meal, yellow jalapeno meal, and this is our other self-rising cornmeal, white grits, and all of the stuff is ground in-house here at the old mill. It is still all functioning, the same equipment. They've maintained it for years and years. The old mill was established in 1830. So this is how long this place has been running. They have their jars of preserves and jams. This is the checkout counter right in the middle. But this merchandise is honestly really awesome if you're into this uh, kind of stuff, which I really am. And I do like the fact that they keep the old mill running so that you can still purchase some awesome stuff so you can bring home. And if you like, um, let's say their um, grits or you like what they make their biscuits out of. You can actually get the biscuit mix here in store as well. The flour is not that pricey either. 
uh, it's two pounds for three ninety nine or five pounds for seven ninety nine, and that's actually really a steal. During Christmas time, uh, right here in this section where they have the regular hats and some t-shirts, they had um, beanies that we got last year. They were really awesome beanies. But this store is ever changing and ever evolving like any store for any season. So anytime you come here Christmas, which we're gonna be doing in six months, surprise, yes, another Dollywood video. Um, huh? Oh yeah, they have some of their clearance um, items that is 50% off. So anything you find, 50% off. What'd you say that was? It is the very last t-shirt and I'm so excited it's a so small. Very last small tie-dye t-shirt for uh, this style here in the old mill, but there are still plenty of other styles for you to choose from. What I would kind of um, crack up an old mill general store to be, or basically the old mill in general, is a much better version of a Cracker Barrel, am I right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like a much better version of a Cracker Barrel during breakfast and dinner. Their store is much better. They even have like a little toy section in the back like, like a Cracker Barrel does. Cracker Barrel. You're right. It is like if Disney took over Cracker Barrel. Much better. There's a really awesome old mill mason jar, little mason jars too, but I like this old mill uh, mason jar for moonshine. It's actually $7.99. I like this one. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at this. That's really cool. And it's uh, made out of stone. Did you say it's a little mule glass? Yeah. What we collected last time was we went through all of these vinyl stickers and we just got a bunch of awesome stickers. And it's large stickers for $3.99 or $1.99 for the smaller stickers. And they have just a huge selection on either side of the uh, board. They have some Dolly Parton ones as well, some Bigfoot ones. Let's see. We have some other stickers over here as well. As well as some, oh, this doesn't move. All right. And this is the little kids section I was talking about right back here. Um, they've got like toys and um, like little matchbox games. This is basically what you would find at like a Cracker Barrel, but except much better. This is actually really cool. It's called Swood. It's um, sticker wood. So it's um, like thinly pressed wood, but it's a sticker. It's really cool. We have some house-made candles right back here for the old mill. So these are all hand-poured candles into mason jars. And after you're done, you can wash out the mason jar and reuse it. And right back here is the actual mill itself. You are not able to go back there, but you can see all the bags and uh, some of the equipment. So from the old mill general store, we got a sweatshirt, um, a shirt, and we got some a bottled Shirley Temple and birch beer. So we're gonna go ahead and try these out. Okay, so we're gonna crap, uh, crack open. Wow. We're gonna crap. <laughs> All right, we're gonna crack open our birch beer and crack open the Ashurly uh, Temple. There we go. Birch beer. Always very good. It's like a different version of root beer, but still very good. How does your Shirley Temple taste? It's pretty good. And these are from the um, Boylan Bottling Company. You can just find this uh, in the Old Mill General Store. Hmm. Interesting. Let me try some of that. Let me try some of that. I don't know what to compare it to because it doesn't taste like a Shirley Temple. But it tastes like You're something right. similar, like not similar to a Shirley Temple, but something that I've had before. But it doesn't taste like a Shirley Temple. No, that's <laughs> not one bit. But it's not Very bad. Good. But not bad. I don't know what to compare it to. Not sure. So they just called a party of 15 and that's all 15 <laughs> heading up the ramp. It's funny. I've been timing it because we're so bad with like keeping track of time. So we're, we're at 22 minutes, so. We're just 22 minutes, so it has not reached 30 and or 45 yet, yeah. so. I think around like 35 minutes, we should start listening because they don't take your number or anything. They no. just call you from the building. So exactly. you, need, you need to be there, you need to be listening. Yeah, so if you miss it, you miss it. Hello. <laughs> right now we are sitting outside of the Old Forge Distillery. We want to go inside. I'm not sure if I want to do a moonshine tasting right now before I go in to have dinner. But uh, we will definitely look through the Old Forge Distillery for you guys on this trip. We caved. We're going to go inside. They do have um, some, uh, some a little section out here that is... Oh my gosh, I can't even get the word out. Clearance. Uh, they have some drink coasters, some ornaments from Christmas time. Uh, some cups over here. Mint julep uh, sugar. And we're going to step right inside. This is their newest uh, limited release is White Lightning Bug. I'm wondering if I can get to try that. Oh my goodness, no, no. And welcome to the distillery. I think you might want to look for your peppermint one right now. 
Oh, yes. So last time we came here, we had a really awesome uh, peppermint cream. I don't think I see it up there, but we are going to ask. But this is the whole distillery itself. Um, they have even stuff from vodka, whiskey, um, rye whiskey, rum even. All their moonshine is right there on the back wall. Tell me don't do it. Tell me now. Don't do it. You want it, don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> Here's their newest one, the White Lightning Bug Moonshine. Ooh. They have a lot of awesome flavors of moonshine from coconut, chocolate, banana foster, all the way down to lemon moonshine. They've got coffee. Uh, they've got cola, caramel, elderflower, French toast moonshine. This is the moonshine I got last time and I still have a jar of it at home. Uh, still some left. They have pineapple moonshine. There's the cola moonshine I was talking about. Blackberry, peach, anything you can think of they pretty much have here as far as moonshines. And these moonshines are $27.99. But if you eat at the old mill, they do give you a discount. They have moonshine aftershave balm. My it goodness. really good. You know what? Now it makes me want to get some aftershave balm. But this is, was part of the distillery here where they do distill all of their spirits still to this day right here, right in front of you. And right over here is where they do the moonshine tastings. So you can get a complimentary moonshine tasting here, or I do believe it's $5 like some of the others, and that $5 goes towards a coupon that you can get. You can purchase stuff here in the store. These are candles. Oh, wow, it looks like a little jar, but some cherry candles. That's really hilarious. It's like, ooh, candy, I can eat it. No, candles. Nope, it's candles, but look at that. That's awesome, moonshine candles. And they're gel candles. Would you be mine? I definitely would be yours. I don't think you could say that on camera, but it's um. It's that, would you be mine? Wash. That wash. So <laughs> that's that. It's kind of interesting. They have um, yeah. It's from the company Ballsy. Really interesting. John, you're incredible. Yes. <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe you just need a little. If you're really not sure what to get, they have a build your own mini set of jars for only $33 a pack. So right back here in the distillery, they actually have an Old Forge cocktail bar. And look at this, they can do different cocktails with uh, the moonshine that they have here in stock. We will taste moonshine and go more in depth to the different moonshine shops um, in tomorrow's video. Well, what time do they close? Um, I think the Old Forge Distillery might close at 11. I know Old Mill mm -hmm. does close at 9, so I we are not too sure. <laughs> yes, uh, so depending on the time, we may or may not do a moonshine tasting tonight. Who knows? Get a little fun tonight. I think we are extremely excited for Old Mill Dinner after reading a lot about it. The prices seem similar. The highest price item I've seen on the menu for dinner is $26. And the lowest price item I've seen on the menu I think is like $17. And it comes with like five or six different sides on the plate. So you get a smorgasbord of stuff. So uh, check that out. Uh, let me get inside. And we are here at our table here at the Old Mill. It only took us about how many minutes? 35. 35 minutes. You do get a view of the outside if you sit on the table and there's a nice little river. But let's give you guys an overview of the Old Mill Restaurant Dinner. Here on the dinner menu, it is uh, in sections. So they have your Southern Fried Specialties, which are gonna consist of all of these different items from Southern Fried Catfish, all the way down to the Chicken Tenders. So this is gonna be that list here. Pause to read any of these lists. You got Southern Fried Specialties. You've got your from the water. Some southern grilled. And then your savory garden entrees right in the back. And then you do have some children's menus and stuff right over here. And this is all the stuff that they do make here at Old Mill. Every single one of these items are made here at the Old Mill. Some of these menu items, they do include different things like cups of corn chowder, corn fritters, and then you can get a choice of mashed potatoes or a baked potato, french fries or a baked sweet potato, and then a choice for many of the bakery desserts, but I don't see any of the bakery desserts here on this menu. Maybe they give you a choice uh, when you order, so I will let you know that selection once they let us know. But just look up here for the different things that they are included with. I think the salt and pepper shakers are adorable. They are little bears that say SNP for salt and pepper. 
So what we decided to order is what I think is Oatmeal's best. We got their spicy broiled catfish and their southern fried chicken combo. And it comes with a nice big slice style of sides. If you don't like one side, like let's say we substituted the salads for different sides, like mac and cheese and collard greens. So they are very willing to, uh, to substitute and make your meal something that you want. It's very customizable. So to start your meal off, you do get a little selection of corn fritters and butter. And I do believe that is an old mill biscuit right there at the very bottom. I love it. My catfish meal does come with a signature corn chowder to start the meal off. And she chose to replace, oh, actually, hers does too. Oh goodness, I like that. So you've got corn chowder, you've got the fritters, and you've got a biscuit right down there. Oh. She is gonna be trying the corn chowder right now. It smells good. And the taste. Very good corn chowder. What would you rate it? One out of ten. Ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. Ten? Compared to what you've I don't you really like chowder that much either, but... That corn chowder's good? Alright, I think I'm gonna have to try this next. You're gonna love it. Okay, so I guess it's my turn to try the... Oh, goodness. We got corn chowder here. She is right. This is a very, very um, light corn chowder. It's not heavy at all. It's very good. We're gonna dive into these corn fritters and biscuits next. The biscuits are amazing here. They're not biscuits, they're rolls, but um, I'm sure they're made with the same stuff. <laughs> she, she just went over to grab the butter, but um, she's doing the corn chowder review. I'm gonna do the biscuit. I'm the biscuit and kind of um, like breaded pastry person. The butter is so good. That butter is a honey butter. Wow, amazing. It is heaven. And uh, what's this corn fritter here? Look at this. Look at how light and fluffy the inside of this corn fritter is. And you put some butter in the corn fritter. Both the corn fritter and the roll are very light, very airy. And with everything being ground here in house, there's not that normal like grittiness that you would get with um, some like normal hush puppies and corn fritters and even biscuits. They are very soft and they just melt. They're amazing. So as far as the chowder is concerned, if you are wondering how good it is, it's already gone from here. She needs to stop because so you need to stop looking at your cocktails over there for Old I'm Forge. Finding amazing cocktails. That'll be tomorrow. Eat your stuff. So we did find out all the dessert selections from our waiter right over there. It is pecan pie, chocolate cake. We have a blackberry cobbler that is served warm topped with vanilla ice cream. And I think our favorite is gonna be the banana pudding. So uh, when we get our dinner, we're gonna try all of that and then uh, do dessert. Holy moly, just look at this. Look at the catfish you get for $21. Four whole pieces of catfish right over here. Look at the pieces of fried chicken. They have the um, green beans, collard greens, which is what I substituted for my salad, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes right over there. And it's served on a bed of rice. This is a sweet potato here. Just, this looks amazing. So you can request for your sweet potato cinnamon and brown sugar. It comes with butter, and I do believe that is a tartar sauce for your um, catfish. So we're gonna try all this and let you know how it is. But first, you know what? Let's do a bite of mac and cheese. How's that? Is it good mac and cheese? It tastes like Disney's. Disney's mac and cheese? Yeah. Okay, from what restaurant? Or just Disney in general? Disney in general. Disney in general, okay. Yeah. It's very creamy. Maybe like a Cape May. Cape May? Like Roma, Roma, mac and cheese. Or, yeah, mac and cheese. Okay. So she's got the mac. I'm gonna go ahead and try the collard greens here. I do like collard greens. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Oh, they've got a little bit of a kick to it. Spicy? Yes, very spicy. Mm. Well, not very, but it does have a bit of a kick to it. Green beans are good, yes? Yeah. Let's try that. I don't really like green beans. Like green beans? They also have spice to them. Mm. But they're phenomenal. Everything is going to have a southern style spice to it. It's fantastic. Let's dive into that uh, those mashed potatoes, shall we? I can't get over those green beans, though. I know, they're good. I never like green beans, like, anywhere. It's not weird, but those are really good. <laughs> And mashed potatoes, yes. Mm. Creamy, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at your apple. 
Mr. Average Mashed Potatoes. All right. So when I mean you can request um, cinnamon and brown sugar, they will literally give you a side of brown sugar and a side of cinnamon, so you can put it inside with uh, some butter. But you should try your catfish right now, right? Not your catfish. I meant your um, your fried chicken. Take two. So she started diving good in her chicken. good chicken. <laughs> yeah, she started. You started diving into it already, but like, look at that. So um, how would you describe that? Is it spicy? Is it? Not spicy at all. Not spicy? Unless I just feel spice anyway from the, the green beans. The green beans, yeah. But there's a lot of meat on this chicken. Oh, wow, look at that. It's nice. It's not much bone, it's mostly meat. Mostly meat? Yeah. Very good. So we do have, um, you can request it any different way. There's like regular, you can just get breast and wing. Uh, you can get a breast, you can get a wing. Uh, and you can just style it any way you want, but it just... You pull all the breading off. I want to show you the chicken. <laughs> so after trying a bit of the chicken, the chicken is very soft and it's very, well, when I say soft, it's juicy. It melts in your mouth. The breading is not overly um, done. It's very light and crispy. It's got some spices in it. It's not overly spicy, but it does have salt and pepper. It's, it's very nice. So now it's time to try the catfish. Before you try any fish, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but me personally, I like to put a little bit of lemon juice on top of the fish. And let's dive into the spicy catfish. And let's actually see how spicy it is. But look at that. Look at how that just fell apart. The catfish is very delicate. Spice level, John. <laughs> One out of ten. So the spice has not hit me yet, but... <laughs> wow. Is it super for, good? For catfish, this melts. It's a nice portion. You do. It's unlike any fries, like, like it's unlike any fish I've ever tasted. I haven't tasted a fish this good at Disney World ever. I'm gonna say that right now. Um, and it just uh, does kind of serve on a bit of rice. It's a very good accompaniment to the rice itself, but um, this is not spicy at all. I don't know why they say spicy catfish, but not spicy not. one bit. You should go ahead and try it. All right. So she feels that the catfish is spicy, yeah? I thought it was. All right. But you didn't, you didn't taste the spice, did you? No, I didn't. I think it's a little bit spicier than the green beans. Just no, a little I, bit. I think the green beans are more spicier than um, the catfish. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, who knows? This is a very, very good sweet potato. Um, it's cooked perfectly, very soft on the inside. Definitely ask for um, the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and the butter to all put inside here. For some reason, this feels like a buffet, but I'm allowed to take the food home with me at the end of it for only 20 bucks. Like, because I have all these little sides and it just feels like I went and picked them all up from like a buffet. <coughs> but I get to eat them later, which is awesome because there's so much food left. We've been eating for like 20 minutes and haven't even made a dent in this meal. It is so awesome. She's absolutely right. The sheer portion size of everything that you get is amazing. The quality of it is fantastic. The price, you're going to take it home and you're going to be eating this for two or three like days. Eating. It is. And four pieces of fish, you cut them up with the portions of rice, that's a serving in itself each. So, we got the cobbler, what is it, blackberry? Yeah. And the banana pudding, so I'm excited for the pudding. He's excited for the cobbler. I wanted chocolate cake, but he wanted the cobbler more, so we just went with that. <laughs> Only reason why I would feel like we would go with the cobbler would be you could get chocolate cake anywhere at any restaurant and you have the world's best john you don't know <laughs> the world's best it would be advertised as the world's best but you know what we are always going to be coming back here to old mill for dinner and breakfast we're going to be doing breakfast tomorrow so it's going to be a really exciting time uh but i'm very excited for um uh, all the dessert let's do it okay so our waiter blake is absolutely awesome uh we just originally ordered the cobbler and the uh, banana pudding butt. He is really cool and he gave us the pecan pie to try and the chocolate cake So we're gonna try the entire smorgasbord of the desserts for you guys and we're gonna rate them 1 to 10 Let's go through all of these desserts. You're already diving in. How's that banana pudding? Is it good? It's very banana-y. <laughs> very banana-y? Very banana-y. Oh. They've got fresh bananas at the bottom if you dig deep enough. Mm -hmm.
All right, Nat. I think you should dive into your chocolate cake. Let's look at the um, like. It looks like a mousse topping. Look at. I know. Look how fluffy that looks. All right. How was that? Mm -hmm. it's so good. Yes. Yes. Good chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try this. That okay. That is very fluffy. It's very rich. Very rich. Very thick. Very rich. It's like mm -hmm. a thick whipped type of something. <laughs> but it's very, very good. And I think I taste chocolate chips inside of the cake. So there's little chocolatey bits inside of that cake. Yeah. All right, so now it's time to try that blackberry cobbler. You can see how warm that cobbler came out because the vanilla ice cream is already starting to melt. Yeah. But just look at this. If you're a cobbler fan, just like I am, Look at, look at the inside of the cobbler. Let's get uh you know what? I don't care. It's my dish. <laughs> let's uh, let's do this. This is so good. <laughs> okay. That right there is fantastic. I'm a banana fosters fan, so I like cobbler only because it reminds me of banana fosters or banana pudding in general. But this is fantastic. The vanilla ice cream is a in-house uh, made vanilla ice cream. It looks like a vanilla bean. It is, but wow. This is very good. Now let's get both the pecan pie. I'm not a very big pecan pie fan, but I'm willing to try it. All right, let's do this. My mom would like this one a lot. All right, get pecan pie. It's actually good. Oh. It looks like applesauce. <laughs> well, the pecan pie has a very rich, sweet, caramelly flavor. And the toasted pecans on top, it's a really nice touch. So after an absolutely amazing dinner here at the Old Mill restaurant, we still have all of it left. <laughs> yes, uh, they give you so much food. I know they give you so much stuff that they're gonna leave you stuffed and having leftovers for the next like two or three days. It's it's honestly that much food. We're definitely gonna probably put some in the oven tonight if we feel a little snacky and hungry later on. But I would highly recommend anybody step into the old mill and get some dinner. It is fantastic for the prices of, you know, the most expensive item being $30 and the least expensive item being $21. We figured that out, not 17, but $21, mm -hmm. uh, which was both of our dishes. It is a smorgasbord of food. They give you so much. Even a Disney buffet cannot beat the quality, the price, and how much that they give you here at the Old Mill. We had some awesome adventures today, finishing our uh, road trip here into Tennessee getting our Sunrise Ridge stay and getting an overview of the entire hotel and eating with us here. Where's the sign again? There at the Olds Mill. Tomorrow, we are gonna be doing an entire tourist day. We're gonna start here at Old Mill for breakfast. So we will see you guys right back here tomorrow morning. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoy our travels. Please stick around for the next two videos that we have, or three, still haven't decided yet, on our travels here in Tennessee. We hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Remember, Magical Memories travel on TikTok and on um, Instagram, but it's magical memory, magical.memories. Yeah, you know what? I'll link it right down here. You guys have an awesome night. We had an awesome night. See you in the next video. Bye now. Bye.